And just a peek inside, his tool boxes here, his locker boxes. And you can't buy any of these. All scratch built. Bruce says he's building more modern cars. He's he's turned into a modern man, so he brought some modern late models. And all these are custom built, styrene sheet. Um, you guys ever see those plastic yard sale, garage sale signs in Walmart? Guess what happens when you cut them up? That. Well, at least in Bruce's hands. Makes perfect sense to him. And these are all, by the way, these are his uh, resin chassis. He makes his own mold, makes a resin chassis. And then, uh, so it's not 3D, still old school resin, but but they work. I mean, uh, they're just cool. And he just does them in just different colors, different designs. And they're all just resin, resin cast chassis. And they look and run great. And then, of course, we've got the modifieds that he builds. Everybody's seen these before, but you'll see there. That's a resin chassis that he's done. And that's his bar work when he solders. So he has a mixture of the cars that he builds. Every chassis is different. There is not, there is no safe piece of metal around this man. If He won't throw anything away. And uh, he turns them into slot cars. And these are all his own castings. So just incredible. Incredible work. It's always fun to see these cars. All right, here we are. Strange Brews brought Slothead's car for prototype testing. And uh, I don't know, pretty cool. And I know it's your car, but, uh, oh, I'm gonna run this thing. I hope I don't wreck it or bend it, but it'll be okay. But the great brew has brought it here to test. Yeah, he's always making something. This thing's got, this has the roof of my Buick and part of the nose, but the rest of it He's scratch built with styrene to give it its uh, unique shape. Uh, had to it be was, yeah, it had to be wider. That's that's strange, bro. Yeah, 1980 something of your car, right? Right. That I remember. Yeah. Maybe so. Well, this one's got a so it's a custom body that he's made himself that mimics his actual car that he raced that I used to see in Highland Speedway. I mean, we passed him a lot. I remember that. <clears throat> but uh, look at that great modeling. Just super cool. And we've already seen some photos of these. These are the Limburg kits that Nor built probably about 12 years ago. And he's just done a great job here. Especially what he's done is uh, he added some plastic at the bottom of his body, if you're familiar with these kits. And then uh, that's just a good old Sprints Plus chassis like we used to use and all he did was cut and extend it to get it to right wheelbase. But all these bars are all now made out of uh, brass and piano wire. And he, he's done both of them that way. Both of them the same. We ran them last night. Just an absolute hoot, but he just, you know, just great modeling here. And just another one of Norb's creations he brought down here for the uh, Beach Racer Challenge. I've already got another video in progress on that, but just had to show this he's done some great modeling work on this car inside and out uh it's just a just a cool old classic classic to see i just love these cars and he's done a great job on it now we're doing some testing uh showdown style testing he's got his summer slam modified brudas and orbs on the outside and the, and the too fast for u57 starting to warm things up